Hey Kevin, how you doing? Just touching base. Your lantern arrived safe and sound. Uh, no damage or anything to either the lantern or the box. And here's where we're at. This guy's a beautiful little lantern. Um, my specialty is gas pressure lanterns like Coleman and things like that. I've never done a wiki like yours, a kerosene. But the principles are the same, so I don't see any big major issues with that. We'll strip off the nickel. I use a solution that's very kind of the underlying metal. Polish and buff as needed. Um, and then plate it up. Now you sent me a picture uh, of a crack. I'm going to look at that and maybe it's something I can seal up a little bit with nickel bearing solder. Um, I'll take a peek at that. Now the only other thing is the way this is built it has some internal crevices. The nickel process probably will not solidly plate the inside of that um, here and the and the base of the lantern this ring around there what I what I do in that case I use a high temp uh, spray paint uh, sort of a matte silver color um, I won't get any on the nickel it's it, it's sturdy and resistant and it's the best way to finish that off so what I'm going to do uh, is strip it down and um, I'm going to have to take the bale. We call this the bale off. And I was trying to figure out, wow, that's one piece. How in the heck did they ever get that in there? But it's not. This is absolutely ingenious. I've never seen this and I'm really impressed. The bale itself has two pieces that come in and they go into a tube. And I don't know if I can see it or not. They drilled little tiny holes and put brass screws through to hold the thing like rivets. This is amazing. I've never seen that before and I'm going to steal the idea on future projects. Um, so I'm going to take it apart so I can nickel plate the bale. And I'll put it back together as original copper rivets and all that. Alright. Thanks again. I appreciate you sending this out. We'll take good care of it for you. Bye bye.